homelessness is a top concern here in Kern County, and as temperatures continue to drop, many shelters are filling up and are forced to turn people away. Some are feeling a spark of hope, though, as the city council voted to approve an agreement with a local contractor to design a 150 bed expansion project at the Brundage Lane Navigation Center. 23 ABC's Rosara Simone has more on how this will get more people off the streets here in Kern. I am so grateful to the elected officials of Bakersfield who are committed to not just hiding the problem of homelessness, but actually healing the problem of homelessness. Director of Brundage Lange Navigation Center Theo Dews says that in order to stop the problem of homelessness in our community, we have to be dedicated to solving it, not just managing it, which is why the Brundage Lane Navigation Center is so important. There are a whole menu of services that are accessible to you right here in our facilities. Those services include medical care, mental health care, chemical addiction care, and on-site job training. If the expansion plan is approved, the new services will include increasing bed count from 150 to 300, expansion of the 7,900 square foot service provider wing, a recuperative care dorm in hospitals, and increasing pet capacity from 15 to 50. Dews says it is important to eliminate as many barriers as possible for those experiencing homelessness. We are a low barrier shelter meaning um, the traditional barriers that would prevent people from coming into shelter, we've removed all those barriers. We're a pet-friendly shelter. We house couples. This $58,274 expansion design project is possible thanks to funding through the Public Safety and Vital Services Measure, also known as Measure N. For President slash CEO of the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce, Nick Ortiz, he says that low barrier shelters are key to ending homelessness. The chamber was one of the strongest supporters of actually building and siding the BLNC. Although Ortiz's happy strides are being made, he says the chamber is not finished. The pandemic has shown that our, our safety net has holes in it. And even with the level of investment that we've been making these last few years, there's still more to do. In Bakersfield, Rosaura Simone, 23ABC, connecting you.